baseball, basketball, football, Hearthstone. This is the start of the season, so my rank's like really low. Believe it or not, all of the above are sports competed at the collegiate level. Hearthstone's a game that you can play on your computer or your phone. And I was just like, oh my god, it's another phone game. I'm like, I'm, I'm fed up with this. This is just going to be like another waste of time and money. It did take up a lot of his time. Carol played Hearthstone six to eight hours every day in order to win an event at a national level. A lot of people don't realize that like the amount of hours you're putting into it, like it becomes almost like a job as much as like it is like a hobby. Carol is a member of one of the fastest growing clubs on campus, Buckeye yeah, Land. Esports, also known as competitive gaming, earned over $460 million in 2016, up 43% from the year before. So I decided to check out where it is that Buckeye Land holds their events. I am here inside the Ohio Union, where Buckeye Land will be holding its big spring event this weekend. Students from all across campus are expected to come here to the Union to compete in various video games. While it may not feel like a Buckeye football Saturday to most, to the competitors, there are still hundreds of dollars worth of prizes up for grabs. So compared to, say, a sporting event, it's the same idea that you're having a good time with friends, but you're actually interacting with the game in front of you. Following his success on a national level, Carroll began to stream. He broadcasts himself playing Hearthstone of viewers on Twitch and uploads the videos to YouTube where thousands of people see it. Carroll hopes this game could be his career. Uh, I mean, that's the dream, obviously, but we'll see. I, I take school very seriously, so I feel like a pretty good like GPA and stuff like that. So gaming always kind of comes like secondary to that. James King, LTV.